All right, as y'all can plainly see, all three amps are in. Let's fire it up and see what happens. All right, keys in the ignition. Here we go. No smoke. Yay! Blue lights and no smoke. There's the view with the seats laid down. Right there. I still got a little bit of wire adjustments to make right here. And that'll be squared away. I'm gonna take the other green wire and uh, feed it alongside those. Band them together so that they do the same. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And a little tweaking to do, but we're getting there. That looks pretty cool, right? All right, guys. I made an interesting discovery whenever I hooked up the Memphis and added my 10-inch sub back in in the front. No. I did not expect this at all, <clears throat> but it seems like the drums and the high bass has got more snap to it, more punch to it. Um, kind of like whenever the drummer hits the drums a little bit harder. And lets the stick really rebound and just kind of gives them a good pow instead of a tap. It's got a bit more bite. Yeah, I like that. I really didn't expect to notice anything like that. And I wasn't looking for it. I was just getting myself hooked back up and tuning it up. Um, and I was immediately kind of floored at just the difference I was like first I'm thinking did I change a setting on the amp maybe I bumped it when I was putting it in or something so I go back and I'm checking the settings on the amp and they're all exactly the same the gain hasn't moved nothing has moved and I'm like did that cap make that difference because I noticed it immediately whenever I fired the truck up after I got it hooked up and I started it, as soon as I, the first song started playing, I immediately noticed it. It was a very big difference. So, uh, I guess my point is, even if you are running an SQ setup, you need a super cap. If you can find a way to, if you don't get this one, there's some smaller variants, you know, there's some of the single cells you can build one. You need a super cap. You need some, some, some capacity on a capacitor. You need some capacity on a, you need capacitor. Dynamic power is huge. And uh, if you if you want to know what the difference is, if you ever watch any of Derek Williston's uh, stuff on his YouTube, where he tests amplifiers, he tests them for continuous and dynamic power. And uh, an amp can have more quote unquote dynamic range. What gives an amp dynamic range? is how much capacitor it has the more capacitor and i'm using that as a singular term the more instant power it can generate the more capacitors it has the bigger capacitors it has the more your dynamic range is going to be enhanced those quick dynamic bursts and hits are going to be better with more capacitor now, since not all amplifiers have good dynamic power, 
And even if they do, they've still got to replace that energy after they spend it. Adding a capacitor right in front of your amplifier, right there, to give it the ability to grab what it wants immediately and make it into sound makes a big freaking difference in how everything sounds. I, like I said, I did not expect this. Um, my, um, my mids and highs amp, my JL, got louder across the board, just more volume come out of it. Now, mind you, I don't have the gains turned up on it. I have it, I have it like way down. I mean, it's not far off of the very bottom uh, for the output voltage, you know, or the input voltage amplification, the, the gain. It's turned way down on those because I don't need the power that's putting out. But that's not important. What's important is uh, whenever we did this, it got louder, um, significantly louder. And like, I really, I didn't expect any of these things to happen, but it did. It got louder. The, uh, the little sub amp, the little mini sub amp has more punch and bite and a little bit more volume to it. Everything just kind of got louder. The only thing that really didn't get louder <coughs> is the subs, the big ones. Um, they stayed the same, but they can carry the notes longer and they have a little more punch at the beginning of the note. Um, can you hear the difference? Dude, I swear, it, 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 could it be like a placebo effect? Could it be like the, I know it's there, so I'm listening for it effect? It could. It's possible. But not likely. I listen to this thing a lot. I listen to the same songs. I sit in here for hours in tune. I know what the system sounds like. I know what every song and every drum beat of every song sounds like. Because I listen to them over and over and over again while I'm tuning. I know what it sounded like. And it sounds better now. With just that change. It is way cool. And it does the subwoofer thing well. Which is what I put it in here for. To uh, steady everything out. And it's looking real good. Now you'll notice that there's a nice balanced unity in here. Ampy stuff, battery stuff, ampy stuff. But you'll also notice that there's a hole in the wall of unity right here. Yeah. That bothered me. As soon as I got the Memphis amp in, I went, wait a minute. There's a hole in my wall of awesome. Must fix that. So, if you guys have any, uh, any inspirational ideas, you know, sign, sticker, piece of equipment, whatever, you have any ideas, throw those down in the comments. Let me know what you come up with. I'm really anxious to hear about it. I know this video wasn't much, but it's more of a wrap up. Anyway, guys, peace.